Okay, so I have this uh, pond pump here. I don't actually know what the wattage is uh, or the gallons per hour, but this was just a used pump that uh, we already had. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it down there and I'm gonna try to pump water from the bottom pond that's always full up to the top pond that is closed. There are a number of problems with this project. One is that there's no power down there near that pond. So I'm gonna have to take an inverter and a solar battery, that's a big deep cycle battery. And I'm gonna get down there and try to run this pump off of a battery and inverter. Obviously there's a bunch of logistical challenges with that, but we'll see. What I'm doing right here is, I'm gonna use a pillowcase, just as a very rudimentary filter to keep big, crap out of the pump and clogging it up. Should be good enough, I think. Done it this way before and it worked. So, so now I'm about to put uh, the pump. I'm gonna hook up a hose and I'm gonna slip that pump in there and then I'm gonna zip tie it off around the hose and the extension cord so that the wires will come out but I can just drop the pump down into the water and then hook everything up. So that's the plan right now we'll see how it turns okay so i've loaded up a bunch of spare hoses got the pump in the sack ready to go got a really big inverter here i'm using the big one uh just because i don't know the wattage on this pump i tried to take it apart figure it out but couldn't find wattage anywhere and so if you use too high a wattage on too low of a wattage on a uh, inverter uh, you can burn the inverter up. So there's no way that this pump can burn this thing up because uh, pumps don't even go that high. So this thing may drain the battery pretty fast, but luckily it's a big, strong battery and I'm currently charging it here with the panel. So I think I've got everything to try this experiment now. So I'm gonna get the mule started up and uh, we're gonna go down to the bottom pond and start tinkering. Oh! We're heading down to the pond in my little red mule. Down to the pond to see what we can do. Coming on down on my little red mule. Going to the bottom pond, make a hose spew. <laughs> okay, so we got our panel. I know it's not in direct sunlight, but it's going to trickle a little. A little extra energy in there. Battery's currently sitting at 13 volts, which is good because I've already hooked up the inverter. The inverter pulls a little bit the moment you hook it up, you see the spark. So this uh, this part of this uh, appears like it's probably gonna work fine. So next test, we take our pump sack and we drop it into a very deep part of the creek where we where we dug a deeper hole. It's on this side of the uh, dam, but uh, I'll show you. Okay, so as you can see, our big pond is over there. This is kind of the where it comes out. This is the spillway. We got ourselves a nice little waterfall right here. And it just so happens that this is a really deep hole in the middle of the creek here because with the excavator I dug down right there, I'd probably be neck deep if I stepped in there. So this is where we're gonna pull water from. So are you ready for a bloop? Here comes the bloop. I'm gonna bloop this right down in there, water there. See if I can do it without having to step in there. Bloop. It's gonna take a minute sinking. There it goes. Okay, moment of truth here. We're gonna see if everything here will run the pump. I'm gonna see if water comes out of there. Hopefully nothing explodes when I turn the inverter on. Okay. okay, so the inverter's on. Hey, looky there, we got water. We got water flow. Yeah, buddy. That's a good flow, awesome, awesome. Okay, 
The next thing I need to know, turn this back off. That's amazing. Okay, next thing I need to know, our next test is how much head lift this uh, pump has. So we don't know, we don't know how far it'll lift, but there's about 16, 17 foot of lift, I think, from that little puddle right over there to the top pond. So it may or may not have enough power to push the water all the way up there. That's our next test. We'll see. Okay, we have a hose. I've hooked up a series of hoses. And we're about to find out if this pump has enough lift to push water up into the top pond. And when I flip this switch and give it a minute, probably less than an actual minute, but when I flip this switch and wait, we will find out. So here we go. I hear water. Oh, here it comes. Yep. I hear it going. Let's see if it's going to make it. I would not be surprised if it wasn't quite enough lift to get up here, but let's see. Oh, it is, look. Now, obviously that's nowhere near as much flow as it was down low, but we are pumping water into the top pond. Let me try this stone. Uh, this is very exciting. Hopefully this water doesn't just soak right into the ground and disappear. I know that some of it will, but uh, okay. Let's see if I can get this rock kind of, there we go. Yeah, well, maybe something like that. That'll at least keep it from digging a little hole here in the side. Man, I don't know if that helps much. <laughs> I think I actually need just a little bit more hose, but it will require more energy. But yeah, I think maybe just a few more foot of hose will get it down there. Let's do that. Just a little puddle so far, but I mean, you could probably run this thing all day every day. Fill it up. Maybe, if the water stays. <laughs> 